So we are up the boat. It is Thursday evening. We've actually been here since yesterday. We came a day early. Jeannie's working on video. I actually did some work and I am now gonna go start the starboard engine. And after it's run for about 15 minutes, we are going to change the, well, I'm going to change the oil on it because Jeannie's still working on video. There's our collection of oil. Each engine's like 5.6 gallons. So anyway, I am going to start working on doing that. So the first thing we gotta do is get the engines going. Later. Uh, the engine's been warmed up. I warmed it up about 15 minutes. Probably 110 degrees or something. It's warm to the touch. There's a assembly underneath the engine that allows you to more easily drain the oil, but you have to come back up. So I put together a little pump system here. Hopefully that will all work. Let's turn it on. There it goes. Okay, it's on. Turn this guy on. I hear some noise. Thing does this thing go? How much oil am I gonna let out now? There was a stupid o ring that was on this. <laughs> what the? Really? How is that ever gonna work? It's like way too big. So now I need a flat o ring that fits this guy. That upper bolt assembly has just been beat to hell and back with that. There's another washer on there. There's another washer on it. Yeah, there's a metal washer on there. A washer after that. There's a washer on top of washer. What a mess. Yeah, there's an O-ring there. I figure out what that was. So there was a little bitty O-ring in there, and then this metal piece was over the top of it, which it's too big. I think that may have been the original seal. And then somebody just tried to beat this thing to death to stop it from leaking. In the process, they damaged it. Okay, well, the oil change is half done. Got all the oil out, got that part out. Now I need to go get a new O-ring for it and hopefully that will fix the problem. Anyway, that's it for me tonight. Later. Good morning. It is December 1st. We're gonna continue working on the engine. Yeah, we got this piece off, which, you know, that was where it was leaking up here at the top. And I mean, there was uh, a little washer there and then this much bigger washer, which I don't know what good that was doing. And this metal washer, which has sharp edges, which is anything, was cutting the O-ring. I'm going to run out and see if I can get a replacement for that. But before we do that, I want to service the Gulf Coast filter on the other side. Because it's also leaking, so I want to try to figure out why it's leaking, get it replaced. And we're also going to put the oil filter in. And of course, it's on the back side. So I get to go to the other side of the engine and pull those guys off. And then to make... Life even more fun, about four in the morning, the valve for the saltwater brine tank for the marine sanitation devices, it decided to stick open. And so we're woke, woken up to hearing this as the water pump continues to fill it. And of course it then overflows. And then so now we had water going everywhere down in the storage room because we needed to service the overflow pump that's supposed to take the water out if that happens, but it broke two weeks ago and we ordered a new one and it turned water off to the thing while we were gone. But then Amazon decided to lose it in Daytona for a week. So it finally showed up. Plus the second one I ordered because it looked, didn't look like the other one was gonna arrive. So they're both here now, so we can at least replace that. But amazingly enough, when I plugged the fuse back in, 
just to see if it would do anything, the stupid sump started working. So I, just a fun evening, let me tell you, or a fun night. Anyway, we're gonna get the engine. I slept through it. Yeah, she slept through it. Well, <laughs> other than complaining about the noise. Yeah. yeah. Is that gonna ever stop? Not quite in that tone of voice, but you get the picture. Anyway, we're gonna work on that later. Ah! Well, I didn't drain out at all. Oh, disgusting. You see a knife out there someplace? What to replace them with? Well, it made life much easier. Here, I'm gonna give you this one. This one has oil in it. Go! <laughs> what size fittings are these? Yeah, I can work this on though. It's just gonna be a pain in the butt to get on. Okay. Just stand on my head. friendly thing it is very full of oil. okay I think we've done everything we can do here for the moment okay so we got the oil filter off that was real easy and then we got the Gulf Coast unit out I need to go get an o-ring for it and smaller grips doing them on this guy here on bottom and out so I think that may have been part of the problem these you couldn't tighten tight enough to actually lock down on the hose even though the hose was crushed by them we will also get the o-ring for that bottom part and then hopefully after breakfast reassemble everything later we anyway, got a new o-ring for that I was not able to get a new o-ring for the other piece but we're gonna go ahead and start reassembling this I also want to put a little a little bit of tight thread seal on it just a tiny bit. And now the real fun starts. Okay, I'm not gonna put any more into it. I want to try to preserve that o ring. So, the good news is we drove around two or three different places looking for these. And then I finally thought, you know, a lot of times filters, they come with it when you need them. And sure enough, there they were. Now I have a new one of those. So now I can start putting this guy back together. Okay, I probably should have put oil on both sides of it. Okay, let's go get some nice clean oil. Okay, so that's ready to go. Here's our filter. That's yeah, quite a filter. We will be back later. Okay, well we are back down here. I am gonna climb back behind there and we're gonna put those two items on and then come out here and start putting oil in, hopefully. That's the plan, later. Okay, so we got new oil filter in, we got the Gulf Coast filter and element installed, and everything's hooked up. I got a new pig blanket underneath there, and uh, we will watch for leaks. We're going to clean out. Yeah, I got all the old pig blankets underneath there. I'm going to clear those out in a moment after I wipe it down, and then we'll start putting oil in. Okay. I want to 
check it because I don't want to overfill it because that should put us somewhere around four, four and a half gallons. Very dry still. Starting to get a little bit there. Okay, we are about to start. You like to do the honors? Hopefully it'll start winding, yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna go check water. Well, that looks good. So let's let it run for five minutes. Oh my goodness, crap. Yeah, we had an oil blowout back here. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, we've probably lost half of our oil. Okay, so after our wonderful fun with the engine in there and the Gulf Coast oil filter blowing its top, dumping half of our oil, we are working on the salt water guy. Gonna get this box here replaced out. Got a new one here finally. Only took Amazon two weeks to get it to us. Well, we finally got this system sorted out. There was some sort of blockage in the hose. It was in this segment that goes from here to the forward bow locker. We'd sent an electrical snake up through this way and it didn't clear, but when we sent one this way, water flowed really well and now it'll pump it all the way overboard like it has for the past year. So, one thing finished. No, Did two. It? We got water in the boat. Oh, two things. Yeah. Woohoo! Now we gotta go clean out Oil. We can add salt. Yeah. So what's this thing called? It's a brine tank because we don't pour. So normally the MSDs pull salt water from the ocean. The trouble is when you don't use the MSDs, you brought salt water into the toilet and those critters that are in it. When you go away for two or three days, a little plankton die and then they stink and then you come back and you have smelly bathrooms. Well, we didn't want to do that, so the toilet part is fresh water fed, and then the MSD has an option to actually pull water from a brine tank. So this is our brine tank for that. So basically, this is taking the place of the ocean. Ocean in a little blue barrel. That's right. Without the critters. Okay, let's go clean up oil. Yeah. Or shall I say, you get to go yeah, clean up oil. Yeah, I get to go clean up oil. Later. Okay, so it looked like the oil came out or dripped out of the side of this. So what we're going to try to do is tighten this down a little bit more and see if that makes any difference. You can watch us do some testing here because I think I'm going to sit back here with the tool and Jeannie's going to run the engine once we get oil back in it. Loads of fun. Later. Put more oil in, got this all cleaned up. That down there is still a mess, but I wanna do this testing here and see what this silly thing does. Ah! It's just leaking everywhere. Start leaking right away. A small black tubing that we 
used to make the new lines for this. The good news is it will reach our two fittings, so we have a way of doing a bypass if we need to. Yeah, I see nothing wrong with this upper assembly. Give me another seal. Okay. Ready? Yeah. massive amount of oil. Now, that was a total failure. Okay, I'm redoing the hoses. We're just taking this thing out for now. Well, I guess there's one other option we have. Here, I'm gonna give you that back to clean off. Yep. I've taken it out, put it upside down like the other one, lightly tightened it. We're gonna do this one more time. Okay, ready. Nice collection of oil here. So by bypassing it, we're not filtering the oil? No, there's the standard filter. This was a secondary filter. Okay. Okay, I need something that can take a big, oily, gunky mess. Okay. finally finished the starboard engine. We ended up having to bypass the Gold Coast unit. We're not going to do anything Gold with this. We're, we're just going to leave that one alone and not worry about it. We will take that filter out. But first thing we need to do is warm the engine up. So what we're going to do is turn on the water. I've already checked the oil and you can also look at the bottle there and see there's coolant and I can also pop the coolant lid. Double check that. Cool, it may be a little low. There's that guy. Okay. Setting up the fuel lines here, we want two port engine filter from aft tank. From port engine to port aft tank. Fuel coming in, fuel going out and down, in and in and back up. Coming back in here and I think we're ready to start. 